Good morning, YouTube. Today is Friday, March 15th. This is vlog number 11. And I'm recording this while driving. Uh, so, don't at me about that. Today is a topic that I actually um, had recorded this before, but I said the wrong vlog name slash number the other day, and I also didn't make my thoughts as concise as I would like to, so I'm recording it today again, and what I guess I wanted to discuss and what I'm going to call this is just be aware of be politically informed. Vote however you like. Have your politics however you like. Have your morals, your convictions however you like. Um, this is not a partisan thing. Be as conservative or as liberal as, as you feel you should be. I'm not taking a side on either way. Maybe one day I will share my political beliefs. If you know me well enough of the 20 people who actually watch this, you know which side I lean towards. Or Not really side, but on most subjects where I tend to lean, and it's not always to one side or the other. But one thing that strikes me with a lot of people is not being informed. I just find it strange. Like, for instance, I know a lot of people who tend to vote for one particular political party just because that's the way their family's always voted for years and years and years. But everything I know about them, socially, economically, in every aspect, if you took the political party side off of it and the candidates' names and you just said, if you just put policies up, they would never, ever, ever, ever vote for the current party that they vote for. And, and again... Neither of the two major parties, and we unfortunately have a two-party system, really adhere 100%, or probably not even 80%, or 70%, to the claims that they make, but let's say ideally they did. If you are a fan of, let's say, stricter immigration you wouldn't vote for the party that is for lax immigration. If you are a fan of unregulated firearms, let's say, you wouldn't vote for the party that restricts firearms. If you own a business and you don't like paying high corporate taxes, why would you vote for the party that increases corporate taxes. That is what I'm saying. So, I was with uh, my girlfriend, and we were with some family. And I happened to mention something about voting or whatever, and they said that everyone in their family voted for the opposite candidate of who I voted for. And the funny thing is, is they are probably further to the side of the political spectrum that I am towards the, the candidate that I would vote for than, than I am. So them voting for the other candidate doesn't make any sense other than just old world out of habit based on a time frame when... I mean, I would say there was a time frame, let's say 40, 50 years ago, where the parties were kind of coin flip away. They were very similar in nature. Most people could be friends. We weren't as polarized as we are now. But I'm just saying, just be informed. You want to be a hardcore Democrat? Be a hardcore Democrat. You want to be a hardcore Republican? Be a hardcore Republican. You want to be a moderate? Be a moderate. That's all well and good. You want to be an independent, be an independent. Unfortunately, the two-party system kind of sucks. Um, your choices are either Coke or Pepsi. And you can scream Dr. Pepper all you want, but all, the, all that does is get you Pepsi, and nobody wants Pepsi. But just be aware. Just, In fact, let's get away from 
the my team versus your team thing. Let's let's start focusing more on the issues. There are some things that make me say that I would never want to vote for a certain political party, but maybe I need to stop being so rigid on that. If there was a policy that could benefit the nation as a whole, and maybe for one particular issue or one particular bill, I could vote maybe not for a whole new representative, but vote on that particular bill or that issue, I would do it. I say I would do it. I feel like I should have the integrity to do it. And I, I think I should challenge myself right now as I'm recording this to do so. And um, I'm kind of challenging everybody else. Let's try and... Let's regroup our politics. Let's undivide our politics. Let's rejoin our politics. Let's have more of a... party blind look at politics. There's a good example back in the, um, and I don't have the, top, the, the, the year right in front of me, but um, if anybody's older, they know what I'm talking about. The first year that um, had a televised debate was Kennedy versus, it was a live televised debate, Kennedy versus uh, Nixon. Nixon's older, Nixon was kind of, I believe, sick at the time. He had a cold or flu or something like that. So he was kind of looking run down, kind of frumpy, sweating, under the weather. People who listened to the debate on the radio thought that Nixon won. People who watched it on the television thought that Kennedy won. So it was all that perception and our perception has a lot to do with it. In a lot of elections, it becomes a popularity contest. So maybe, and I know it's about public image, but maybe, just maybe, we should just vote on policy and stop worrying about the public image. Because I can tell you the people I vote for, a lot of them, I don't like them as people, but they are about as close to the ideal of what I like as I can get to in the current system. I'll never get entirely what I want, but the compromise is the people that I currently vote for, unfortunately. I just want people to be informed. So people who vote straight down the party line one way or the other, especially when it doesn't line up with any of the way they live their normal life, it doesn't make sense to me. So just be informed. Just learn about the parties themselves. Learn about the candidates themselves. And examine that before you just blindly pull the lever either direction. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, like, subscribe, check me out, share with your friends. Let's get this up into 22, 23 subscribers. Later.